Welcome to the Beach Club at Bimini. This is Virgin Voyage's private island when you come to Bimini, Bahamas, and it is fantastic. So when you walk into the Beach Club, you're gonna see there's some comfortable seating over here. Your very first bar, so you don't have to go far to get the bar. And you're gonna see your concierge over here on the left. So if you have a day bed, a reservation, a massage, you can check in with her. By the way, they give you extra sailor loot if you book one of the cabanas to be used on the island. So make sure you check that out. The island is gonna be divided. I shouldn't say the island. The club will be divided into a left and a right hand side. So you hear me chat about that as we go through the tour here. So right now we are in the very middle of it. So there's a pool to your left and there's a pool to your right that we're gonna walk all the way through and give you the full tour. Now, if we look back at the actual building itself, it's a good place. If you don't want to be in the sun or you want a comfortable chair, there's a great place to hang out. It's also by the bar. So if you need refreshments, you can get that over there. Your sailor loot does work on the private island as well. So you do not need to have cash or credit cards. Your sailor loot is going to work here as well. They've got a lot of different bathrooms in this location, which really impressed me a lot. You have bathrooms over here on the right, some showers, places to change, which is really, really nice. You're also gonna have some smoking sections. So if you're looking at having a cigarette, there are designated areas that you can do that. Walking through here, you're gonna see a lot of different signs. You're gonna see the sand, which is very soft. I enjoyed walking on this sand. There's some beaches that I go to that are a bit rough, but I enjoyed this. They're gonna have some hammocks you can jump in. Those are first come, first serve, but the cabanas there are for reservation only and for a higher fee. There's a new section back here in the back that I didn't see anybody here, but I didn't get here till probably about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It is close to closing time now, so a lot of people are heading back to the ship. But if you really want to get away, read a book, that's going to be the most secluded area that you can find. You're also going to have two different eating establishments. So this is the one on the right-hand side, which is not open when Virgin is in port. So they don't use this side. They do, however, use that Coca-Cola machine and beverage station over on the right-hand side but you're not gonna find food in this section. You need to go to the other left-hand side, which is gonna have an identical setup that will be able to serve you food. You're gonna have your beach rental, so if you have a kayak or something like that, you'll rent that from the area straight ahead. You've got another bar for folks on the beach, and we're gonna come into the actual pool now. Again, you can see that they're kind of picking up and closing up shop because it is the end of the day. The sun is starting to set. We've got some of those long shadows. You've got these white chairs that they put into the water. I don't know who they're designed for. They are certainly not comfortable to me, but if you want to sit there, you can have at it. You've also got some nicer chairs up here by the pool, and you'll see what I mean when uh, we get down to the beach, that these are the nicer chairs. The pool itself is only about four feet deep for going up to maybe five. It is not a very deep pool. Apologies, I don't know the conversion into the metric system, but it is pretty shallow. You should be able to stand up depending on your height, in most of the areas of the pool. You're also gonna see a lot of towels. People have left their towels because they've gone back to the ship, but towels are available here at the Beach Club at Bimini. So don't worry about bringing one from the ship. You can just get one when you get here. You're gonna have a few bars stationed throughout. That's what this little cart over here on the left is for. And they're gonna have a drink station with some water that um, has fruit in it. Though I find the fruit often clogs the dispenser. So it's a little frustrating. It's really good water, but it's gonna clog up your dispenser. You're gonna say they've got a lift if you need some help getting into the water. And you're gonna find that this pool, I think is a little bit more calm than the other pool. For whatever reason, I feel like the day club party experience happens on the right-hand side pool more than it does on the left-hand side pool, which surprises me because the bar you're looking at now it is gonna have a swim up bar to it feature where you can be right beside of the bar. It's a really cool place. It also gives you some shade in the afternoon, which I appreciate. You've got more cabanas as you look towards the back, but if you want to get one of these chairs, if you want to sit by the pool and you say, Brandon, this is for me, you're gonna to wanna to be here by 10 o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, you're not gonna make that happen. And luckily they do have seats on both sides of the pool. So there's plenty of it to go around, but you still need to be there by 10 a.m. If you don't, you'll still find seats over on the beach. There's tons of seating over there that we'll walk through in a second. Looking straight ahead, you've got one of the other bathrooms, showers that you can use. And the left-hand side here is going to be where the food is actually served at. So it is buffet style. You can go up, order whatever you want. 
They serve it to you, which I always appreciate versus me getting it myself. And the food here, I've not had it because I always come a little bit late, but they weren't serving food when I first got here and they serve food up until I think four or 4.30. So it goes really late in the afternoon and people that ate it said that it was good food. Coming up through this section, this is the exclusive Rockstar Suite at the Beach Club at Bimini. So if you are in a Rockstar Suite or you have Rockstar privileges, you will be able to access it into here. They do traditionally have someone checking cards, but again, it's closing time, so they're gonna let me walk on through. Definitely comfortable seats up here. Um, they've got a bar, lots of things that you can do and enjoy. And these day beds that you see here are first come, first serve. The eggshell beds and the ones that we're gonna see down on the beach, you do need to talk to that cabana attendant to rent. Even if you were in the yacht, no, excuse me, if you were in the Rockstar Suites, you're still gonna need to pay additional fees to get into one of these enhanced experiences or enhanced beds. Again, take a look at this sand. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the sand here at Bimini. Super soft, easy to walk on, um, and it didn't get too hot while I was there. When I was walking around, it was not bad at all. These chairs here are the same exact ones you're gonna see up by the pool, and so they are the more comfortable version of chairs. A few tables here, but again, everybody's gonna have an umbrella so that you hopefully don't get too sunburned. The water here is also beautiful and crystal clear. If you are standing in the water, you absolutely will be able to see your feet and your toes with no issue whatsoever. Though with any private island, make sure that you are being wary of jellyfish. I hear that there is a season for them, but I feel like you can see them just about any old time. So make sure you're not going out there if there's a ton of jellyfish and you're being smart about that. That is not something you wanna be stung by on your vacation. They've got a little bit of seaweed that you see is washed up. So there is a seaweed bar there, but once you get past that, it's not bad at all. And I actually you know, did go out there for probably 20 or 30 minutes, didn't see any jellyfish, saw tons of other kind of small little fish, but it was a neat experience. The chairs here, these are the ones that I personally do not like. They are the 1980s you know, plastic where I feel like my tail always slips through and goes through the bottom. But you can see that everybody's gonna have an umbrella once again, which I love. We're now walking on an accessible way to get to the beach or get closer to the beach. So if you've got a wheelchair mobility issues, you're gonna wanna walk on this path to help get you down to your chair or maybe into the water. Again, these day beds are for an additional charge. You've got more cabanas and you're gonna have more bars close to the beach. So you don't have to come all the way in to get to one of these bars. They do have them out on the beach for you as well. So now you're gonna see the other side of the pool where, you know, I, I think that this is my preference. If I was sitting somewhere, I'd wanna sit on this side. If you're on the other side, yes, you can see the beach, but there's two layers of people there. I think it's just less congested if you're on the left-hand side of the pool that we're looking at now. Coming back to the middle, you'll see that there is a towel station, towel return, and a bar. So the closer that you want to be to a bar to get all these things, you wanna to sit towards the middle. And you're also gonna see their fireball. I think that's what this sphere is called, but that's where they used to do the uh, sunset soiree. They'd put a fire in there, they'd have some musicians, some singers, and they'd have a really good time out there, but wasn't well attended. So they don't actually do that too terribly much anymore. At least they didn't do it on this one. I inquired about it. It's not a thing anymore, I don't think. So I should also mention that to get over here to the Beach Club at Bimini, there is a tram that will take you here from the cruise ship. It is not something that you want to walk. It is not that very close. It will make a stop at the Resorts World property. So if you wanna to go to the casino or do something there, a lot of people may rent a golf cart as well as a secondary option that you can do in Bimini and just explore Bimini some. And as you can see, it is closing time here at the Beach Club at Bimini. It's time for me to get in line with these folks to take the tram back to the ship. But this is Brandon, the weekend cruiser, hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.